I've always loved arcade games since I was a kid, though I never really considered getting one. But after I found a free computer on the side of the road, I got inspired to build my own. I don't have much woodworking experience, so I just adopted a learn-as-I-go philosophy. I started with a blueprint with some measurements so I could sketch it out on some wood. I then went to the hardware store and picked up a couple sheets. I traced the design and started cutting. Once the sheets were cut, I sanded the corners smooth so there wouldn't be any sharp edges. Next I had to make something to connect the vertical panels to the horizontal ones. It was simply blocks of wood that I glued onto the vertical panels. Once dry, I can screw in the horizontal ones and start to see the cabinet take shape. To mount the monitor, I just added some longer screws I could fit on the back of the wood that meshed with the universal mount. I also had some spare desk drawer rails, so I used those to build the drawer to house the keyboard and mouse. Once the wood was done, I added a coat of primer. I ordered a cheap joystick kit from China, and once I got it, I started laying out how I wanted the panel to look like. Then I could drill the holes and install the buttons, and later the joystick. I did the same to the plexiglass to make sure it fit. Eventually, it was time for painting everything. I used a couple coats of satin black. Then I could finally add the T-molding and give it that authentic arcade look. Now it's the fun part, the electronics. It looks complicated, but good cable management really helps. I didn't end up using the computer case because it was really heavy and I worried about airflow, so I just mounted everything directly to the side panel. I also installed a fluorescent backlight for the marquee. The last step was the artwork. My wife designed it all and we finally got it in the mail. Once attached, everything finally came together. Throughout the build process, I was also working on the software side. There's a lot of emulators out there, but I needed a unified menu to select games between the different ones. And each game required different controls. Some natively supported the joystick, other times I had to generate fake key presses from joystick input. Overall, it was a really fun and rewarding project. You're probably wondering how long it took and how much it cost. The total cost I estimated to be under $400, which is way cheaper than trying to buy a pre-built one. As far as time, it took about two months, but I wasn't working on it all the time, and there was a lot of time just spent waiting for parts to ship. Believe it or not, I actually ended up building another one later for my brother. It was a different design since I wanted to try something new, and I definitely learned a lot from the mistakes I made on my own cabinet. Thanks for watching.